All right, so I'm going to show you guys something that I'm actually familiar with. I'm going to show you how you edit the floors of an NBA team in NBA 2K13. This also works for NBA 2K12, 2K11, 2K10, hopefully forever 2K14 and everything else. The floor is a different file than the stadium itself. That is the first thing to remember. So if you want to edit the actual floor, it's one file. If you want to edit the stadium and the backboard, it's a different file. So let's edit uh, the 70s. Well, let's see here. Let's load up the IDs. There we go, the file structure. So this is the 2K13 file structure, the team IDs, and the 2K13 tutorials section in the NLSC. And let's go ahead and edit the 0176ers court, uh, which is 595. So we want F for floor 595. So let's open up 2K13. F535. Excuse me, 595. F595. So let's go ahead and copy this out to the desktop right now. Minimize that. <sighs> now, unlike everything else, we can use the 2K12 mod tool for this. Open it up. Decompress it. Okay. Here's texture number one. This affects how the. Uh, Reflections uh, work with the um, the floor. I mean, don't really touch this one unless you really know what you're doing. And this is the other texture that shows up automatically. Um, there's a lot more subfiles right down here. So there's eight total textures. That's the lines. You can change it, and if you make that black, all the lines will be black, but they're colorized. I'll show you how to edit that later. That, I believe, is the center logo, which you definitely want to change. So let's go center on this. And note that it's a DXT5. I believe these are all going to be DXT5. There's the Sixers.com. There's that swoosh thing. Um, we'll keep that. And then, it, and then the floor. So let's take out the floor, the wood, wood. DXT1, because this one's DXT1, not DXT5. And uh, screw it, we'll just leave that. Okay. So we open this up in GIMP or Photoshop, whatever you're using to edit DDS files. We don't care about this stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and just say we don't want this. So to select it, press delete, <laughs> and we'll export, center, overwrite. DXT5, generate those mip maps. Okay, close that. Close without saving. Take the swoosh thing and we will change the blue to a red. Try again. There we go. And we can go ahead and export that. Place. DXT5, generate mip maps. Okay, close that out. And take the wood. And let's say we want to make the wood. I don't know. Something realistic. Colorize really isn't the best option for that. We should just do some curves on this. I think it's a little darker. There we go. I'm happy with that. Now export, overwrite, okay. You want to change this to DXT1, generate those mip maps, done. Close that. We're done with texture editing. And then to import, import res, wood. There's that swoosh. And the center logo. Now let's say you want to do some 3D editing too. As you can see, this is the main floor, and part one is the lines. So let's go ahead and export both of these. Export res, and we'll just do it to the desktop right now. Uh, Sixers Classic Floor. Export success, okay. And then I have my own Blender folder set up here. So let's move that in there. Let's load up Blender. Let's import this 2km file, whoops, Sixers Classic Floor, import, and here it is, and it is freaking huge. 
and as you can see the view limit uh, doesn't let you see the entire court all the time so the first thing I do while everything is selected and you're not in you're in object mode not edit mode do a gesture like that like a V and you can scale and then type in point zero one there now you can see everything without having to deal with the view stuff and it's, it'll edit just fine you didn't scale anything for real so this is just for the editing of this tool let's say I wanted to make the um, the floorboards really big like they were in uh, NBA 2k6 and NBA 2k7 for whatever friggin reason so I want to select the different wood parts there's gonna be a lot of them so this was a smart thing to choose to do so we're gonna press tab to go into edit mode or you can click right here and we're gonna click this over here and change it to the UV image editor and we're gonna zoom out and we can see that this stuff's all the way over here now if we want to make the uh, floorboards bigger we want to shrink the UV map so the texture is bigger compared to uh, the, the the parts so let's do a V here uh, select all okay sorry press A first do a V here and let's shrink it by 0.25 so 0.25 press tab click here press tab go over here press A do a V 0.25 enter tab A boom 0.25 enter tab over here A 0.25 enter whoops tab A enter tab a 0.25 enter and I'm basically just selecting everything that is the basic floor texture a 0.25 enter a 0.25 enter oops 0.25 enter a and whoa make sure you're doing the right thing enter anything else did I miss anything I think I got all of the parts of the floor you can see how they changed their shape and everything so now when since I changed the UV editing it will um, the floorboards will be nice big and huge like they were in 2k days of old now let's say for whatever reason we also want to get rid of these additional floor line or um, um, lane lines so we press we right click on it to edit what we want to edit we want to select a so we deselect everything press B and we want to select just the vertices we want to move oops B again B again B again and let's go over here shift and middle click to do this B and over this and B and over this so now I have these lane lines selected. Draw a straight line to move it. You can press the middle click to change what axis you're editing. And just because we're just doing this nice and easy, let's just go ahead and throw this underneath the bleachers to above the court. So we'll just do 100 away. And we can press tab to get out of edit mode. And now as you can see, they're all the way up here beneath the bleachers, out of sight, out of mind. Let's also get rid of these extra hashtags. Oops, hashtags, hash lines that we don't need. B, if you press B again, you get this selectable thing that you can use with the mouse wheel, and you just click and drag what you want to select. This one can be a little bit more dangerous, but we can go ahead and get all of these things out of here. So once you're done selecting, press spacebar, move it up, select what axis, press 100, boom, and press tab to get out of edit mode. So now this court will have a UV sized. Um, planks like they did in 2k7 it will have no interior lane lines it will still have this color though there's this color that's here so we need to take care of that next so let's go to export this file export in 2km temp and sixer classic floor export keep the mouse there for overwrite and completed close out blender click this import res it doesn't matter which part you have selected here or in the sub file and we need to get to that folder so let's just do this copy that bring it over here paste it open classic 4 we're going to import it all because if you do XYZ only it doesn't do the UV mapping 
import it all success and you can see that crap we moved over there out of the way that is all we have to do with the mod tool so let's close the mod tool and let's go to our tools folder and we're going to use uh, hex on steroids now what this tool does is going to allow us to edit the colors and the reflections. So let's do the reflections first. Go to the profile, profile list, courts, and reflections. I did a tutorial in the NLSC forums on how to do this. Video tutorials and hex on steroids. Overview court reflections and colors editing. So that's a great tutorial to watch to get the ins and outs of this. If you needed help getting Blender set up, oh yeah, I've got tutorials for that. So let's go ahead and open up desktop this floor file it's finding all the reflections row number six is all you need to edit and you need to edit it all the way up until you see these NANs so this right here takes care of your reflections so a nice reflection color or level I should say is three so let's just change all these ones to three so three tab three tab that's it file save and we can go ahead and save this if file yes we want to replace it save successfully let's go to profiles profile list courts colors yes I want to continue open up that same court because now we're going to do colors now this looks like a bunch of gibberish because it is but if you go all the way to the right we now have some colors that we can edit nothing here nothing here but this looks promising and this looks promising now this is a little bit more difficult to edit um, but I'll do a basic because I did I really covered it in that um, tutorial which I'm just going to direct you to but basically this is R G and B colors so what you need to do to um, convert this into RGB and back from this decimal is multiply it by 225 so this equals this times 255 and this is gonna be a white color so let's get something a little different let's get so you can tell that they're all a very high value these ones have different values so let's see what this is copy this over paste it all right so 18 87 156 so we don't know what that is let's load up GIMP real quick and let's find out what color this is. Remember the R G B. So let's click this and R G B this. So 18. Let's do 19 because 18.8. And then 88. And then 157. Oh, okay. Well, this is the blue that is on that um 76ers court. Let's change it to green, because everything should be green. So 19, 157, and 29. And we want this to work, excuse me, in the um, this format, in the decimal format. So we need to grab this and divide by 255. Bring that down. So this is the values I need to import into this selection right here. So 0745, 0 0.6157 and 0 0.1137 you can make that as far out as you want as little as you want whatever it doesn't matter file save select that same file save it successfully done yes that is how you do it now you may have noticed that throughout this entire tutorial I did not move any logos around on the court it is impossible to do so just like the uniforms you need to find a court that has the logos in the position that you already need so if you you can't add logos to a court so you need to find a court that has it in the right place already back in 2k12 i released this amazing resource that i'm not doing again <laughs> with it's a screenshot of all 2k12 floors and this thing was very useful and it just it's all the floors so let's say i wanted to do the 76ers court and still have these Wells Fargo um, logos, but also have a little logo over here for that 50th anniversary thing. And I want to keep the two-tone lines and have the baselines uh, logo still be there. So 
right there, Milwaukee Bucks. Perfect. The first one did it. I can take the Milwaukee Bucks uh, court and then first import these textures in. So I'll import the 76ers logo in the middle, import the Wells Fargo stuff over the Bradley Center, um, take the 76ers text, uh, baseline texture and import that over the Bucks one, the um, website so I can put right there, and then import in my custom uh, anniversary logo right there. And then using the hexon steroids tool with the color thing I just showed you, we can find out where this um, shading for the in point inside the three-point line is. Uh, that's usually going to be a value that is very bright. Um, so it's got it's it's near one for all three of its values. So the RGB would be very high, essentially, is what I'm saying. Find this red, change the red. Find this green, it'll change all the green, and we can change the green to the blue. And that red can pretty much stay the same. And that's how you would make an updated 76ers uh, floor. And you just remember that you copy the F001 file and overwrite the F000 file. <sighs> like I said, very generic uh, tutorial. Um, more specific ones are in my uh, video thread in the NLSC Tutorials forum. And I hope you learned something. I hope this helps. But um, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Hit me up through a PM. Make a thread in the patching help uh, form at the 2K13 section. Post it right here. New topic. And one of us will try to help you if we can. So, hope you learned something. Hope this helped. I will see you guys in the next video.